It's pounding. George Humphreys, our guest. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Are more false flags Alex coming? Alex Jones and the you GCN your boots, Radio Network. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years and I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com The truth will set them free. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is doing designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season when we love runs high. They're reporting another 230,000 children expected over the next 24 months. And let me try. As hundreds of thousands of children are already dumped, as the word goes out, you put your kid on a plane, they land, they're in. And now Obama is triggering a massive crisis that is totally illegal. And then magically two cops get shot. And then the shooter supposedly gets shot, the guy and his girlfriend. Oh, and guess what's on his Facebook page? So easy to set this up. Facebook that works with, you know, who so closely. Alex Jones, number one. Alan West, Representative Alan West. We'll do a document cam for TV viewers and I'll show folks uh, this. And then it continues on here uh, with, uh, oh, Ron Paul, Rand Paul, about Jared Miller. And this links through to him saying he lives in Vegas. Three percenter nation. Uh, you know, just, just uh, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan's fault. But the media is not picking up on that. <clears throat> the media is demonizing yours truly. So, oh, two Ronald Reagans. Oh, George Washington. My gosh, it's, it's all his fault now. 
the two cops got shot. So, oh, the Heritage Foundation. Another Rand Paul. So there you go. It's all their fault. Jesse Ventura. Greg Pallas, the liberal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The marijuana. Oh, Governor Gary Johnson. He's a... So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go to George uh, here in just a moment. First off, I want to tell listeners uh, about the fact that this hour is brought to you by the great folks at MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Now is the time to have storable preparedness foods that last more than 20 years, non-GMO, super high quality, who I choose for my family. They've got a lot of other great preparedness items. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. That's the place to go in my view. A lot of different packages and a lot of other, again, high quality products, 866-229-0927. Now, uh, continuing here, folks, I get so wound up in the last hour, I didn't even plug anything. And that's where real you know, radio advertising goes on is during the show. That's when the main audience is there. That's why other talk shows plug in and out of each break. I end up plugging about once an hour. That's how we fund this truly independent, one-of-a-kind operation where I've got all these other great reporters, all these other great hosts, all these other great media people who are being persecuted and having such a big effect like Dinesh D'Souza. We helped him promote Obama 2016 because it was exposing the corruption. We're here as a platform for everybody. And it's essential that you check out the incredibly, uh, incredibly well-priced, high-quality products at InfoWarsStore.com. The ProPure G 2.0 cut out the glyphosate fluoride, gravity-fed filters that annihilate all the competition and are lower price with promo code WATER. You get 10% off the additional already lowest price out there. You can also... Go to InfoWarsLife.com. That is a subsection of InfoWarsStore.com to find... The new Survival Shield X2 from 7 to 12,000 feet deep. No one else has this iodine. The true pure purple crystals, not from seaweed. If you thought the old X2 was incredible, and we still sell that and it's wonderful, and easier for kids to take, consult your physician. The new X2, if you dropped a you know, drop of it on the floor before it's been put into the solution, would eat a hole in the ground. You're saying, wow, why do I want to take that? Well, the, the reason even the government used to put it in salt not the high quality type, was because this is the this is in the halogen family. They put all the bad halogens, the fluoride, the bromine in the water, in the food, in the baking products, as it blocks the pineal, the glands, everything. This is how I mean I, I, I mean I was so toxic, folks, and, and and I was on the regular survival shield for a year, made me lose about fifteen additional pounds. I've been on X2 about two and a half months, even before it came out. It has blown me away. I take it three times a day. You will detox the first month. So be ready for that. Consult your physician, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. We have the Super Male Vitality, just eight natural, purified, concentrated, organic herbs known to boost male vitality, libido. And the Super Feminine Vitality has those eight, but two more. Let me tell you, it really has an effect on the women. Regardless, you're supporting the broadcast, InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWars store.com or 888-253-3139. Now, my good friend George Humphrey is in studio, written a lot of books, a lot of books on tape. If you want to plug any of those, feel free, my friend. Um, I hope you write a new book soon. I know you've been very busy, uh, busy in all your other research. But, you know, you heard me before I did that plug there, talk about what's going on with this demonization campaign. You heard during the break as we read from his Planet InfoWars comments and it appears to be him uh, where he, you know, says, you know, I'm never going to shoot any police. Uh, I never plan to shoot any police. Funny that he says things like that. Now they say he's done this, but he's conveniently dead. He goes, he says, who knows anyone can trust anybody really. I'm done for the most part, done talking. Hopefully people will follow my lead when I strike back with Luke and the Ewoks. Uh, I mean, you know, this is the kind of stuff he's saying here. And he says, looks to me like they want very specific ways of thinking for their slaves. So they'll show up and take the domestic terrorist away and they shoot police. They can turn to each other and say, see, we told you. So he's talking about the government shooting police or if someone fights back, because he's obviously a listener hearing where I'm saying, don't have a civil war, don't shoot police. As the media is hyping, patriots are going to shoot police to turn the police against us with the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center telling them constantly, I'm doing this. I don't want to talk about me, George. I want to get into the world, positive things. 
positive things you see, the top three or four positive things, the top three or four negative things. Because we don't identify the negative, we don't know what we're fighting against. I believe in humanity, know we can turn the corner, but we need to get out of the, the denial and admit that we're defending all this great stuff, but we have to admit what's going on if we have a shot at it. So I see exposing the evil as positive, but I agree with you, it's prima facie. For every evil thing, every bad thing, there's a good thing. Newtonian physics, for every action, there's an opposite. Right. And just as powerful reaction. Well, what I like to do is I like to step back from it a little bit further. And I would like to just share with your listeners, and which many of them know, is that this situation, this rabbit hole, is so much deeper. It is so much wilder. It's so much crazier than 99.5% of the people have any idea about. There is a very wise man who once told me, life is an illusion, realize it. Life is a challenge, meet it. Life is a game, play it, and life is love, accept it. And the, the illusion, it's Maya. We're in a big holograph. And, and, and understanding, and not that I understand Newtonian physics, I mean, uh, uh, quantum physics completely, but I kind of see this life is, is, is a hologram. And it's what we create, our consciousness. It just came out with mathematics. They're, they're, they found yes. an invisible hologram holding the whole universe together. There's, an, in my mind, people are starting to get hip to that. And the fact is, is that we create our own realities. And the, those beings who are in charge of our political, our economic, our cultural, our easy, ecclesiastic institutions, they are in fear-based consciousness. They want to control. They think that the only way that they're going to win the game is by taking from others. They are in fear and limitation consciousness. And because I know you have a very strong belief and the creator and in God as I do. And I know that life is eternal. It's, it's infinite out there. There's nature saying the mathematics shows a clear hologram yes. and an invisible force beyond holding everything together. It, and, and it's so much more beautiful, but I am completely in agreement with you, is that the only way to get out of the hologram, just like in the movie of The Hunger Games, is to realize what's going on inside. And we've got to play the game. Right? Exactly. It's a beautiful, wonderful universe. I don't want cops to get killed. I don't want a civil war. The New World Order wants that. Absolutely. And it's all because of, 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 of action, reaction, and solution. And, and these people, this, is, this has been going on for centuries. They create a problem. They blame it on certain people who are their enemies, like Alex Jones. And then the solution is more power for them. But you know what? We've got this figured out. We understand this week after week after week. You know, whether it's Waco or it's Ruby Ridge or it's Oklahoma City or TW Flight 8, you know, 800, all of these things, they're all were created to create fear. And fear is the way that they control the mass. Listen, they, they wrote Eco-Science when the year I was born in 74, the White House current science are admitting they put fluoride in there to brain damage us and make us fearful and weak. You know, the, just the fluoride thing. A, as you said, I used to be an elected official. I was a city council member. And we have, and I go down and talk to our elected officials right now. And when they will talk, most of them will not talk to me right now. And I'm always very polite. I know all the right buzzwords. I wear my coat and tie. I call them, sir, you know, and I'm very polite with them. But I take down MDs. I take down other dentists. I take down reports from, uh, you know, Harvard University showing that fluoride not only does not protect the teeth, but it is a toxic element within the body. And the cognitive dissonance, the fear, just even at the city council level, and it's not just Austin, Texas, it's happening all over the world. Mayor Lee Leffingwell flipped our cameraman off from the dais. He actually held his finger up and, and did it. Yeah. When we were there on floor, I'd being polite. And why is he so demonic? Well, we've had a series of mayors who are controlled by the downtown moneyed interest. And first of all, we have to understand 
These people are controlled. They don't even realize what they're doing. They don't have that much life experience. They haven't paid their bills. They haven't run businesses. They haven't talked to open-minded people. And most importantly, they are afraid of the truth. They do not want to give in. They want to keep control. Now, there are some new people who are running for city council, and this is happening all over the country. People.